just look at that artwork absolutely beautiful that could have been painted by I don't know Turner Constable maybe Mozart who knows all I know is it's beautiful and when I saw that I had to buy it so what is it well let's just zoom out so you can have a look whoops wrong way so we're getting used to my cheap camera yep. Right, let's have a look. Well, it is in fact a Sutcliffe model boat, a uh, clockwork speedboat, uh, to be to be more accurate. And if you've seen any of my uh, little videos before, you'll know that I'm an absolute huge fan of um, Sutcliffe pressings, the company that made these and they made submarines and all types of clockwork and even steam powered boats uh, and your pot put put or pot pot boats whatever they're called uh, they even did an electric boat uh, which I do have somewhere so I, I may even do a video on that uh, prim prim primarily I bought this um, because of the artwork, that's the for some strange reason I love the product, but I also love the artwork. So I'll just remove the boat and we'll have a look what's on the box. Well, the box is in really, really poor condition, and it's even got uh, somebody's name on it. Uh, I can't read what it says. I don't know. It's it, it could be Stephen. I'm not really sure. Uh, but look at that, look at that artwork, absolutely beautiful. Right, let's have a look what was inside the packaging. And there she is. It's, uh, like I say, I normally only buy these if they are in, uh, like, um, oh, I can't think of the correct terminology, like shop. Shop stock. What's 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 laid undiscovered in a, in a in a store for years and years, and it comes up for auction in a in a toy sale. That's the ones I normally go for. I bought this one because it's actually in very very good condition, and you know it was reasonably priced. And I don't have a a uh, well, I didn't have a hawk boat, so I've got one now. Uh, it's just such a shame that the packaging is is badly damaged, but at least it's there. At least you can see that lovely painting. These were made in 1968. I'm just gonna. No, I'll be all right. These were made in 1968. You would unscrew this little plastic bung here. You pop your key in there. Like I say, they are clockwork boats. You'd uh, lightly, lightly oil everything with some some very light lightweight oil uh, you know your propeller shaft and uh, make sure that spins nice and then you wind her up you stick her in your local village pond and away she go and these little speedboats I would imagine they would go quite fast I must try one of these one day in fact I, in fact I am I am going to buy a uh, buy a couple of these which I'm going to actually use and just film them in, in uh, in the local pond just see how they perform. I'm going to get a submarine and a boat. Uh, you'd, uh, you'd you'd set the rudder to to have it going in like a half set, you know half circle so you could you could put it in pond and it would just go round and round circle so you could catch it again. Or if you was brave enough you'd have it aiming right across the pond to, to, to one of your friends and hopefully it made it all the way. If it didn't, you had to go swimming, I'm afraid. And uh, what is it? I don't know. We're in 2013 now, so what's that? About 45 years old. You know, you didn't get none of that that plastic rubbish. You know, the, these was made of metal. There were strong toys for strong boys. <laughs> metal construction on that plastic rubbish. Uh, at the same time, you had your usual, you had your triangle and your, 
your Scalex bolts and uh, yeah, the majority of them were all plastic but but Sutcliffe they, they kept you know for a long time they kept them all steel steel bolts did have its downsides uh, they do rust quite bad especially if you get water inside that uh, that is about all I can tell you about this if you if you remember having one of these as a, as a kid it might bring back a few memories for you to actually see one of these again in the flesh and that is about it a beautiful little thing so I'll just uh, I'm just going to end this video now but I think we ought to I think we ought to go out on a high so I will say I will say thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it whoever watches it I know if you've had one of these in the past and you remember it as a child I hope it brings back some good memories so Thanks a lot for watching.